Aloha everyone, what's up Barakahoots is back and welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one we're doing our INT Season 3 Draft Analysis. So if you did miss the live draft, it is still on the channel. Please go ahead and check it out. Link will be in the description down below. But for a quick rundown, we're just going to go through our team and give you our overall thoughts about it. Our number one draft hit for the INT Season 3 for the Hawaiian Komo'os was none other than Garchomp. So I've never used Garchomp in a draft league before. So this is going to be really exciting for me. It's a good mon. It's a mon that people have been putting in a lot of work with. A great defensive option, has a, has a really good ability with a combo with Rocky Helmet, and is a really good hazard setter. Not to mention, it packs a punch, so I'm really excited to use Garchomp. But let's move on to the next mon, and that is Ogre Pond Hearth Flame. So I've been wanting to try out an Ogre Pond, and this is undisputedly the best Ogre Pond, in my opinion. Mold Breaker ability gets around, levitates, and sturdies, which is really good for us. Plus, Grass plus Fire is the best defensive and offensive option, so I'm really excited about that. Good speed. Good tack. Let's move on to the big boy of the squad, Mr. Iron Hands. Now, I'm really excited about Iron Hands because of its massive bulk and damage capabilities. It's been putting in a lot of work around the draft scene, so I'm excited I get a chance to use it in the INT. Hopefully, we can get this mon to work for us as well. Up next, we got another mon that's been putting in the work in the draft circuit. You know him, you love him, it's our boy Greninja. And we do have access to all three of his abilities, so that being Torrent, Protein, and Battle Bond. So I'm excited to see that and see if we can make it work properly. Very fast. I believe it's our fastest mon on the squad, so I'm really happy about that. It's a good speed tier and some good typing. Let's move on to our second defensive option on the squad, and that is Enamorous T. Very good overall bulk with 110 defense and 100 special defense, and still has a massive attack stat at 135. So I'm really excited about this mon. Overcoat ability also helps us prevent any shenanigans going on with like weather or powder moves. So I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna put in some good work. Up next, we got a mon that's not a stranger to our INT squad. We've drafted a few times in Gen 8, but this is the first time we're picking it up in Gen 9. So let's all welcome Mr. Scizor. I really needed a skill and bug type, and I really couldn't think of a better one than Scizor. Super high attack stat with a technician ability. So we were able to rock out with things like bullet punch and to make it even stronger. Has access to aerial ace. Trailblaze becomes a, a bigger problem and can even utilize bug bite and stuff effectively because it becomes base 90. So I'm really excited about this mod. Also still has access to Swords Dance and Agility if we want it. So there's a few things that we can do with this boy, but we all know what Scizor can do. So let's move on to our next Pokemon. Another Mon that I haven't used before, which is surprising because it is a old Cantonian Pokemon, and that is Tentacruel. So Tentacruel is our like Spinner Mon. Um, it it's not, doesn't have a bad attack stat at 70, which is good. Its special attack is also okay at 80, but the main thing I wanted it for was its speed, its typing, and its special defense. It is a special defense wall. I'm really happy about that. We also have a lot of coverage as well. Blizzard, D-Gleam, Giga Drain, Ice Beam, Sludge Wave, Surf. It's a really good coverage option. I'm going to see what I can do with it. It's a good mon. I've never used it before, so I'm going to see if I get some advice on how to use it from people who have really do enjoy this mon. But yeah, let's move on to... Our Terra Captain. I've been hyping this Pokemon a lot. We have used him in our most recent draft league and really debating if I was going to take him or not because I like him, but I already had mons of his typing. So I was like going back and forth, but Q did convince me during the draft to grab this boy. And that, of course, is our favorite Torterra. Now, he does have the Terra options for Grass, Rock, and Steel. So you know what the plan is. Shell Smash Rock Blast is one of the bigger ones. And of course, we can always have a defensive option. If we wanted to do um, Iron Defense, Body Press, Terra Steel, a lot of good options, very versatile, and I'm really excited to use him as a Terra Captain. So please watch out for this man. I hope, I think he's going to put in a lot of work. Up next, we got a horse in Glacier. So we know that Glacier is the lesser pick of the two horses, of course, but with 145 attack, 130 defense, 110 special defense, and 100 HP, this thing is a tank. So I am really fortunate that i was able to pick this boy up in the grace period pretty much every pokemon after tentacruel that i picked up during the live draft i dropped because i wasn't particularly happy with the way they synergize with the team so glacier comes in and is a much better ice type than the ice cube that i originally picked and i think it's going to do a lot of good work for us if we wanted to do some trick room shenanigans we do have some slow pokemon that we could probably make work 
So that should be really good for us. But Glacier is really fun. In my practice, I've been having fun with it. But let's move on to the next pick. And that is another Mon that we picked up during the race period. And that is Hoopa. Yes, regular baby Hoopa. A lot of good coverage moves. And some really good support moves as well. It's actually screens. Destiny Bond if we need to get in and out. We have T-Wave. This will be our, our Trick Rumor if you wanted to use it. It's a good Pokemon. As the Magician's ability. So we could come in with i don't know a citrus berry or something that can pop and then we can attack take one of our opponent's items which would be really good for us not like a free trick if we need it but yeah but also don't count this mon out that has 150 special attack and that's insane it does have a quad weakness to ghost but i think we're going to be okay we have a good defensive options to help deal with it. And last but not least, rounding off the squad is our cute little one-pointer in Cranidos. Now, I needed a decent one-point Mon. So, I picked up Cranidos because it has 125, special, uh, 125 attack, decent HP, and is a rocker. So, I could just focus Sash up, get a rocks up, and then let him go down. And he did his job. And everyone else can just prosper with it. So, that is the full team of the Hawaiian Komo'o's for the INT Season 3. It was a lot of fun. We always have a good time in this draft league ever since I created it a few years ago. So thank you to everyone who was a part of it. Also thank you to my fellow admins, you the Costa Rican, JV, and CB Marcus. Everyone put in a lot of work during draft day and we're all going to be putting in a lot of work as the draft continues. So good luck to everyone in the league. And don't miss our uploads that'll be happening every Sunday for the next few weeks. But with that, ahoy ho. See you guys in the next video. Shoot!